My name is Marc Seguin, I'm an artist, mainly a painter. I also write, uh, make films, documentary. Um, the piece in, in the exhibition is called uh, Monsieur Jean-Paul va mourir cette semaine. So, Mr. Jean-Paul is going to die this week. Two days prior to his death, I, I had a phone call from a friend that, who was close to the family that told me that Léopère was about to die. He was on his deathbed. And I remember I was in the studio in my studio in Montreal and b being kind of sensitive as I became an artist, it, it, there was an, an overspill of sentiment that had to find a way to exist. So I made this, this little drawing of his portrait uh, at age 32, which was the age that I was when he died from, from a picture that I found um, the same age that, that I was when I made the little drawing, and well, here it is, it's in the exhibition. So I was 21, to the beginning of the 90s, when I went to see the, the retrospective that he had for the inaugural exhibition in Montreal, and I remember being struck and not completely understanding or having the words, being 21, to explain what's going on, what's happening in, in me, be, being moved by such power, yes, beauty, but with this sense of liberty or transgressing some codes that I learned later on. The man was reinventing himself. Every half decade or so, or every decade, there was something uh, that he was leaving behind and then something that he was meeting halfway or, or provoking it. And then now as an artist, it's, most of my admiration lies right there in the fact that he was able to reinvent himself. He would just go and jump to whatever he wanted to do and, and make these giant leap steps, going, following his instinct, following something, um, something wild, some, some, something free, which in my understanding, corresponds to what true art is. It's completely insane to think that in one life, you can go from that still life to using spray paint and make it uh, fine art, high art. I think he was bold enough to just embrace the fact that if, if you're using red and t today and then you're using it tomorrow and then on Saturday, you don't want to use red anymore and you stop, that's a revolution in your own studio. And that's, uh, that honors him. That, that honors any artist gesture and thought of saying, no, I'm not doing it because I know how to do it. There's more fun, there's more to learn in risks and doubts and in things that I don't know than in things that I do know. And, and it, it, it's everywhere in his paintings.